Hello everybody, Clint Seely here, bringing you another short tutorial um, about the toolbox, the edit toolbox. In this particular tutorial, I would like to discuss the double run and black work run features. Now you'll notice both of these are grayed out. However, when I select, we'll just use a uh, um, uh, shape from one of my digitizing elements collections, the ocean. This is the turtle shape that I have in that digitizing collection, but it could be any design. Say you've digitized a, a design or you've opened a design up in the, the embroidery uh, side of, of the program and you want to slap an outline around it or it already has an outline. You have a couple of different um, tools that we can use in the edit toolbox that can really enhance or make your design better and those would be the double run and the black run. The double run is pretty basic okay and you'll notice when you're in the program if you hover over any of them like this here you see it says in that little pop-up box press F1 for more help if if I'm just hovering over that dude and I press F1 you're going to get the help section is going to automatically pop up to that particular feature and give you an explanation as to what that feature does however it's not always the best feature let's kind of read through this the double runs pretty basic it says use use the double run feature to reinforce outlines that's pretty basic now what that's going to do is if we just have a single stitch outline and you want it to be a little more reinforced or a little bolder, a little stronger, you would then click on the double run, and I'll show you. You would click on the double run, and that just kind of beefs it up a little bit. It kicks it up a notch. But then we get to the black work. Use black work run to join selected outlines to form a single grouped reinforced outline correctly sequenced for efficient stitch out. Now you might be thinking, okay, that sounds neat, but I can't really visualize what that is, Clint. Okay, hey, no problem. I'm going to show you. All right, so remember this feature is here. For some of the features, um, this little help can really, sh the help section feature can help shed some light on particular aspects of the program. But sometimes you just have to be shown. So let me show you because the black work run, I really think that's a very great feature. But once you see it, that light bulb is going to go off in your head. It's going to ding, it's be like, oh yeah, okay, I'm going to be using black work run all the time. You may be watching this video right now and have never used the black work run feature. Well, it's neat, so hold on. Let me close this box out. And here we are. We're going to return back to just whatever shape it is that you're using. You can um, follow along by loading the, the, uh, the turtle up from my ocean digitizing uh, elements collection or any other shape for that matter. I'm just going to hit control A and that will select the entire design and I'm going to slap an outline on this design because it doesn't have one as you can see right now it does does not have an outline and I'm just going to do a I'm going to use the um, the outline design feature so I'll left click outline design and I'm going to do a single stitch outline I'm going to make it yellow so y'all can see it and I'm just putting one outline on there so I'm going to hit OK now your design that you might be using may already have an outline on it. I'm going to go ahead and add the outline so I can show you what the program will do. This may just take a second, no problem. Now you may run into this with your program too where it says not responding up here. That's just because it's working. Just be patient. You don't, you don't have to start clicking all over the place. I call that click happy. When things start slowing down, don't freak out. Oh no, what's wrong? And start clicking everything. Just be patient. Wait a second. See, here we go. We have that outline. And the outline looks beautiful. Okay, this looks great. However, the, the program doesn't always do a perfect job of organizing and optimizing your outlines. Okay, the result being it takes longer to sew out, but the machine's doing more work than it needs to, and it leaves a lot of jump stitches all over the place. But let's concentrate on um, double run first, and then we'll get to black work. So double run, say you're looking at this outline, um, and, and you want it to be just a little bit bolder. 
but you don't want a triple stitch outline. Well, we can go in here. I like to do this when I'm selecting an outline like this. I'll just hover over the color film and make sure the I'll left click on the, the, outline, does, the outline section right here and then go over and hit double run. When I left click on double run, look down here at the, see this is the stitch, the current stitch count of the design. So we're at 13,466 stitches. When I left click double run, you'll see that'll go up to almost 15,000. What that's done, now visually, you haven't seen much change on the screen, but that's just layered another run of outline stitches on top of the other one, kind of beefing it up. But I'm going to undo that. That's Okay, so that's double run. I'm going to undo that. So if you ever need to use double run, there you go. Now we're going to get into the black work run feature. So for this feature, I'm only going to do this for demonstration purposes. I'm going to left click all the fill stitches of the turtle and I'm going to delete them. Okay, I'm not suggesting that you do this. I'm doing this only for demonstration purposes so we can really focus, visually focus on the outline. Also for, vis for visual effect, I'm going to colorize my outline stitches in black. Okay, so now we're looking at the outline stitches and you're thinking, okay, Clint, this looks great. However, we're looking at this, this in artistic view so you can't see all the jump stitches. So if I deselect artistic view, which is right here, okay? If I left click on this icon, now you can see there's jump stitches all over the place. Look at these, see all these jump stitches? The design just does not seem to be organized very well. And uh, on top of that, if you do a slow redraw, we can, we can get another really good visual of how unorganized the outline stitch design is. So I'm going to left click this icon right here which is the slow redraw and now we'll really be able to see how the design just kind of jumps all over the place as it's this is how it would sew out just kind of jumps out all over the place and you can see it doesn't seem to be organized very well and a result of that is it leaves a lot of jump stitches all over the place and at the end you're going to be weeding your design and it's going to take longer than it needs to it's just not going to be as good as it could be. The program V7 has a lot of great features and the black work run feature is one of those really great features. Okay, so let's look at this. <clears throat> Commit that to memory how, how this experience looked before we applied black work run. Now what I'm going to do, let me close this out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I have all of my outlines selected. You can do that by holding down control and pressing A on your keyboard. Or you can hover over here at the color film and just left click it like that. However you select everything. And then you'll see that this option is now available. Over here in the edit toolbox, black work run. So if you left click it, left click black work run, you'll notice nothing happened on the screen. This is where people get hung up. Once you left click black work run, see down here at the bottom where it says enter entry point. Before the effect will take, will go live, you need to manually tell the program where the entry point needs to be or where you want to start the design. It could be anywhere. All right? Totally up to you. I'll start right here at the head of the turtle. So if I just hover over the head of the tur turtle and left click, now you have seen, now you see the effect. Where did all the jump stitches go? Now it looks completely different. The design looks clean. It looks efficient, optimized. Let's go ahead and redraw this guy again. And you'll see it organized things quite differently this time. Sure, it added a few stitches to the design. But that's no problem because now you're cooking with gas, okay? Now your designs are getting more towards the professional, okay? This is the way that a professional would organize their designs, leaving you with hardly any jump stitches whatsoever. Now, doesn't that look great? That's the black work run feature. And remember, when you left click that black work run, Remember, this is where you will get hung up. Remember to select that entry point 
before you will see it take effect. Well, this was Double Run and Blackwork Run. This is Clint Seely. Thank you for watching.